Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this video is about mutual inductance, chapter number 13 from the book Engineering Circuit Analysis. Now let's understand uh, dot convention. Although I have dealt with uh, this in details in my other video, but for this book uh, I'm just repeating. So, if a current entering a dotted terminal of one coil produces an open circuit voltage with a positive voltage reference at the dotted terminal of the second coil. So, let me clarify this. <clears throat> we just remember one thing that dot entering dot positive and that is in relation to, to the diagram. You see these two coils are linked with the flux lines or with the mutual inductance and in this case the current I1 is entering the dot. So there will be a voltage induced in the secondary side and that voltage will have a positive polarity at the dot. So that, that is what it means dot entering dot entering dot positive the other uh, the side dot will be a positive sign a positive sign of the voltage and obviously the other end will be negative sign so this voltage is, is just like a battery positive at the top and negative at the uh, bottom so we'll write the voltage v2 as m di dt with positive sign now let's see another one now in this case the dot is at the bottom the dot on the secondary side is at the bottom the rule remains same dot entering that is current entering at the dot dot positive so this dot now will become positive and so the top will be negative it will just like a battery uh, with negative at the top and positive at the bottom so we'll write it with a negative sign so now the uh, induced voltage Vt will be called minus m di by dt. So that's the difference and obviously uh, just if you follow the same rule if the current is not uh, or entering at the not dot terminal then the positive sign will be at the not dot terminal. So there is no dot here so that will be the positive. So it's uh, just simple logic and uh, it will be represented with a minus sign in this case because minus is at the top and plus is at the bottom and similarly if the dot is here and non dot terminal is here the current is entering at the non dotted terminal therefore non dotted terminal will be positive so we will put a positive sign and this will be just like a battery with positive at the top negative at the bottom so the induced voltage which is given by this formula mdi dt will have a positive sign so the 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 magnitude remains same mdi dt mdi dt mdi dt but the sign will change depending on whether the current is entering at the dotted terminal or not dotted terminal and with the same logic if the current is entering at the other side or the secondary side if I2 is entering uh, and there is no current here then because of this there will be a voltage induced and that voltage will now be called V1 instead of V2 because this is on the secondary side this is on the primary side so V1 with M Di by Di2 by DT here it was Di1 by DT now this will be di2 by dt and the sign convention remains just as we explained here. Okay, now let's clarify the concept with the help of uh, solved example in the book 13.1. Uh, the question says for the circuit shown in figure, so this is the circuit. Determine v1 if i2 is given and i1 is 0. So I2 is present, I1 is 0, therefore because of I2 we will have a voltage induced in the primary side which is V1 and we have to find that value. In the second part it says 
that if i1 is given and i2 is 0, so this is 0, i1 is given and therefore we'll have an induced voltage V2. So we'll have to find that V2 with the help of uh, I1. So let's start. So the first part is this. This is the circuit. I2 is given, so I2 is given. I1 is zero, so this has no effect. Voltage induced in the uh, primary side. Now the point to note here is this current is entering the non-dotted terminal therefore the non-dotted terminal on the primary side will become positive so let's see so this becomes positive and top becomes negative and therefore the voltage v1 will have a negative sign this is the general formula but in this case v1 will be with the negative sign m di2 by dt so let's plug in the values m is 2 to henry so 2 and i2 is 5 sin 45 t 5 sin 45 t we take the derivative of this so we get minus 2 5 comes out and sin 45 t derivative will get, become, give 45 cos 45 t and which is equal to minus 450 cos 45 t okay and just a point to note since no current is flowing through the uh, coil on the left there will be no contribution to v1 from self induction so since this is zero uh, I, i1 therefore there will be no self induced voltage only there will be mutually induced voltage Okay, now we come to the second part. In this case, now I1 is given, I2 is 0. And since I1 is entering the dotted terminal, therefore the dotted terminal of the secondary side will become positive, top negative, and therefore again V2 will have a negative sign. This is the general values given, so we can write V2 with a negative sign. So negative MDIDT. And now we plug in the value of i so 8 minus 8 et and solving and taking the differentials we get an answer of minus 16 e minus t volt okay. now let's solve the practice problem now in this case uh, the mutual inductance is 10 henry so m is 10 henry Coil L2 is open circuited, that means there is no current flowing I2. I1 is given. We have to find the voltage V2 for figure 13.2A, so this is figure A, and also for 13.2B, so this. So let's start with figure A. Okay, now since the current is entering at the dotted terminal in figure A, Therefore, this dot will become positive. So this is positive and this is negative. So the V2 will have a positive sign. So V2 is MDI by DT. And now we plug in the values of I1, so minus 2 e raised to the power, minus 5T, and taking the differential. And finally, you get the answer to be 100 e raised to the power minus 5 t volt now let's go to the second part part b now this is the figure part b here current is again entering the dotted terminal but here this dot is at the bottom therefore this will be uh, the bottom will be uh, having a positive sign and Rest everything should be same because the induced voltage because of this current will be same only sign change. So the sign will now be negative and since everything is same so the answer should be just with the negative sign. So you just plug in the values and solving you will get answer minus 100 e raised to the power minus 5 t volt. So I hope uh, this gives you an understanding of how to solve the circuits with mutual inductance. Thank you.